that distinguishing between the needs of the self and the body. Now, if we see here, we have just explored that the need of the body, the need of the material unit is material only. So, uh, physical facility relates to this need of this material body. This is what is the need of the body. Physical facility is to fulfill the need of another material. While the related to needs of the self is relationship. Relationship this right feeling in the self. So right understanding and right feeling in the self is this is what is feelings like trust, respect, affection, care, guidance, glory, gratitude, love. These kind of feelings in the self. That is what is fulfills the needs of the self to be in a state of continuous happiness. While need of the body is physical facilities. And as stated seen here, for animals, they are necessary and adequate, mostly adequate. Animal feel is hungry, gets the food, becomes comfortable. Till the time it does not get food, and is hungry, is agitated. But when it gets food, it's comfortable. It's adequate, mostly adequate, largely adequate. But for human being, it is not adequate. The instant it gets the physical facility, it wants something more. And what is that more is the relationship. So this relationship is basically, it is the feelings in relationship. So when we say feelings from right understanding and right feelings, when our interaction with human being is with right feelings, it leads to mutual happiness. And when I work for physical facility, accumulation or production of physical facility from the nature, and I use my skills to produce that or to acquire that, and practice those skills in such a manner so that the production is sustainable, it does not harm the nature, it does not exploit the nature, then it becomes mutually prosperous, mutually enriching, mutually fulfilling with the nature as well. So both needs must be satisfied for human being to be fulfilled, related to needs of the self and related to needs of the body. Now, the needs of the consciousness can be fulfilled only by the consciousness activities. Need of the self is continuous happiness and that is need of the consciousness. And they can be fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings in the self that is activities of consciousness. Material cannot fulfill these needs. So the needs of the self can only be fulfilled by the activities of consciousness, not the material. So what is the gross misunderstanding? I have more physical facility, I will be respected more. I'm seeking respect. Respect is a feeling in relationship. It's a material. Material cannot fulfill the need of the self. Only consciousness, activities of consciousness can fulfill the need of the self. While need of the body can be fulfilled only by the material things. Need of the body is physical facility, material nature, and they can only be fulfilled by other material. So need of the material is fulfilled by material and need of the self is fulfilled by need of the consciousness. So activities in the consciousness. The gross misunderstanding is that human being is body. I am body. Like 
I shot while ago. I just stated that look at the uh, advertisements in the newspapers. Tall, slim, fair. This all body. So it is considered that if such bride is fine. So human being, when it is equated to body, and body's needs are fulfilled by the material. So who is going to work? To fulfill these needs only the, for physical facility. So when human being is equated to body and body's need can be fulfilled by physical facility. So the focus remains to acquire only the physical facility and due to gross misunderstanding, lack of understanding in the self that we are not in a position to have the identification of required. We feel more and more is required. And this is what is leading to accumulation of more and more physical facility, unlimited. The misunderstanding is it is not limited, unlimited. Physical facility required, unlimited. So when we live with this kind of feeling that I have less than required, this is the feeling of deprivation. This is the feeling of deprivation. And when I live with this feeling of deprivation, my effort is all the time to acquire more and more physical facility, accumulate more, more and more, and more physical facility. So are we caught up in this kind of view? Let us examine this. This is what. Pratap Kumar Ji. Karuna Karan Ji. Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Ha, you are audible, sir. sir uh, while we are uh, talking about this uh, ISKI facilities, when mm. we uh, say we are uh, satisfied with the level we have, we mm. don't want any more. So how mm -hmm. the motivation come and how the career growth will come? Sir? sir, at no stage it is proposed that you stop producing or you stop acquiring. What you do, when you have started living with this feeling of prosperity that I have more than required, then what do you do with the additional production? You share with others. So when I have the feeling that six shirts are more than sufficient for me, my daughter gifts me the seventh one. I already have a feeling that six are more than enough. I use one on each working day. On Sunday, I get it washed, iron, and start reusing. So when I get the seventh shirt, what do I do with this? So what I have the feeling that six are more than sufficient. So I take one shirt out and give it to some needy person. So nobody is, it at no stage is proposed that you stop working, stop your production. Firstly, you identify how much is required. And when you have the capacity with sustainable production, produce and share with others. Our country has produced successively in the last seven years or in nine years more than double the requirement of entire population of the country. We have tens of crores of people lined up for food, same food grain. We have produced more than double. So when I produce more, sir, at no stage we are saying that you stop working yeah, after that. Yeah. Right, sir? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> right, sir. Well, Sir, can I say, sir? Ha, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sir, sir, namaste, sir. Uh, today's uh, discussion, let me tell you, sir. Today's discussion is so good. I am feeling I mean, so, so good understanding. Sir, sir mm -hmm. really your, your uh, class today is very much helpful. Mm -hmm. and, uh, regarding this one, sir, this accumulation, mm -hmm. this accumulation mm -hmm. is also there in animals, also. Mm -hmm. ants, ants also accumulate mm -hmm. for, uh, for their future in rainy season. And the, uh, the example of honeybee, honeybee also accumulates. Mm -hmm. And because of that, honeybee cannot enjoy uh, mm -hmm. its honey, what it collected, mm -hmm. and it is taken by human beings. Mm -hmm. So wherever accumulation is there, not mm -hmm. only things, in animals also, whoever mm -hmm. accumulates, Mm -hmm. they, they cannot enjoy mm -hmm. that and they, 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 mm -hmm. they, 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 this came to my mind so I, I, I okay, sir. 
Great, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing, sir. Thank you. Sir, can I ask? Uh, briefly, ma'am. Uh, yeah. uh, regarding this animal consciousness, when we teach it in the class, uh, mm -hmm. there is a which I have observed in previous workshops also. Uh, mm -hmm. People might think that animal uh, uh, consciousness is not just having adequate physical facility. In mm -hmm. fact, they have us more, they are more honest, they have mm -hmm. sentiment, they have self. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, so how can you call you know, that uh, animal consciousness okay. is just having? And well, current generation is very much into animal love. So how do okay. we over that point. Okay, ma'am. Animals also have coexistence of body and self. Self okay. is very, very little developed as compared to human being. And in animals. In animals. So they also have assumptions. Hmm. They also have assumptions. You know, you start uh, addressing a particular puppy with a particular name. Gradually hmm. starts responding because hmm. it knows that whenever such sound is made, food is hmm. provided to it. Okay, so they mm -hmm. also have self, but they live mm -hmm. mostly with assumption. Human being has the potential of knowing. Okay. That's mm -hmm. why animals are breed based. Human generations are sanskar based. Education mm -hmm. sanskar based. Mm -hmm. okay, so, yeah, so we can drive ourselves in a proper path. And yes, ma'am. We, ma have, we have the potential of knowing. Potential. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Welcome. So, now, the human being is a coexistence of self and body. Self-consciousness and body material. The needs of the self and body are two different types. Materials need can be fulfilled by another material. The consciousness needs have to be fulfilled by consciousness activities. So, need of the self is continuous happiness. Need of the body is only physical facility, temporary in nature. The need of the consciousness is fulfilled by activities of consciousness. It cannot be fulfilled by material. And needs of the material is fulfilled by material. So gross misunderstanding is what? That I am body. So to assume that human being to be a body, the material. Because material's need can be fulfilled by the material. So focus will remain only on material, leaving the relationship aside. While the human being has great potential of knowing. So, gross misunderstanding is to assume human being to be a body, a material, and to assume that all human being needs to be fulfilled by material only. This leads to deprivation and exploitation of others. Now, there's a practice session after lecture eight for our students. See, the uh, update, if it is required, that uh, practice session too. Classify the desires as being related to the need of the self or need of the body. If a desire appears to be related to both needs and self and needs of the body, look for the both and split it into two or more sub-desires. You know, we can keep going and breaking it down. Uh, you want something, okay? You want to acquire something. You want to, why do you want to acquire it? What will happen? What will, uh, what will be its use? You know, like keep breaking it down. And then try to find out that you're able to see clearly whether sub-desire is related to need of the self or need of the body. So from this exercise, the students can find out at least two key distinguishing features between the needs of the self and needs of the body. Roughly what percentage of your desires, the student desires related to needs of the body and what percent is related to the need of the body. Easily through this uh, lecture, the student should be able to identify a distinguish between the needs of the body and needs of the self. So make a list of your activities from morning till night. Some of these activities going on in you, in the self. Some activities are going on in your body, walking, talking, and some activities involve both, you know, both the activities, like feeling excited. I am feeling excited. I means self is feeling excited. So there is effect on my body also. Both me and my body are involved. We have explored. Body and self are coexisting. Now, feeling excited, like, but eating, it is only involving both self 
and the body. Like for example, I made the decision to eat. The body is eating. Body is getting the nutrition. I am getting the taste. So it is involving both. Running. Who has made a decision to get up in the morning and go for a run? I made the decision to go for a run. The body is just running. Okay. Thinking. Thinking something quietly. You're sitting idle. Who is thinking? Body. I am thinking. My body is not involved. Body is sitting idle. So, list down the activities morning to evening. And then write down the observations regarding activities of the self which do not involve the body. Can you see these activities are continuous? Activities of the body okay, that involve some internal organs of the body like heart and blood moves. These activities are discontinuous or cyclic in nature. There is nothing continuous inside. Contraction, expansion is happening. Breathing. Breathing looks to be a continuous, but it is inhale, exhale. And then activities that involve both himself. So, and in the, the expected outcome, the students are able to relate their desires to need of the self and body distinctly, separately. They will be in a position to understand because once the instant they understand the difference between the needs, they will be able to understand the body and self coexistence with much more clarity. They are able to see that self and body are distinct realities and the last part of their desires are related to the need of the self and not the body. So when they list out, they undertake this exercise, this becomes very clear. They may also be able to conclude that while their efforts are mostly centered on physical facility, which can only be fulfilled, fulfill the needs pertaining to body and not the self. So the instant they start analyzing what is happening morning to evening, they start writing it down. This will be work as a great exercise for them to differentiate between the two realities and understand their coexistence with clarity through understanding their different kinds of needs. The students are able to see that self and body are two distinct realities and they are two distinct types of activities going on. Activities of the self, activities of the body and activities of the body in which decision of self is involved. Like taking a decision to go for getting up in time, go to a dining hall of the mess in time, going to the class in the time. These decisions are made in the self. Body will just walk. They are able to see that activities like understanding, desire, thought, selection, all are activities in the self. While breathing, blood circulation, palpitation, these are all happening inside the body. These are activities of the body. This is what will be the expected outcome. Some of the uh, questions. Uh, so, let me just... Are we only talking about the basic needs of human being here? What about the higher needs? We talked about the needs of the body and needs of the self. So if we understand the coexistence of body and self and their needs separately, that is what is the needs can easily be understood. And what is the aspiration? What do we desire? In a state of continuous happiness and prosperity. Prosperity relates to the needs of the body, fulfillment of need of the body, and having the feeling of having more than required in the set. When we need food and also the taste. So you are saying that only self needs the taste. 
So I'll just lower all the hands and uh, yeah. Now I'll uh, request uh, the participants to raise hands. We need food and also the taste. So you're saying that only self needs taste. Well, Uh, Smati ma'am. Ji bhaiya, namaste bhaiya. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes bhaiya, bhaiya I have a doubt bhaiya. Uh -huh. uh, you said as before in accumulation of uh, so many physical facilities, that is uh -huh. in spite of in spite of acquiring uh, many physical uh -huh. facilities, uh -huh. still uh, some people are they are interested to uh, in purchase of. Uh, some items that is they are accumulating in their house. Uh, then how to overcome from that loop? By uh, how can we make them to uh, overcome? That is how to uh, how to uh, guide them uh, <laughs> to come out of that loop. By uh, so, because yesterday is, uh, also I went. Uh, yesterday also I went to my cousin's home. Mm -hmm. uh, she was uh, purchasing a uh, new saris mm -hmm. and uh, utensils. Mm -hmm. Which okay. she have already. She told told that mm -hmm. that looks nice. So I mm -hmm. bought. She she told. Mm -hmm. I don't know how how to uh, advise her. Mm -hmm. 